What's up, guys? It's Jamie Graphics, and today we're going to be talking about protection. How's it going guys? I know that it's been a while. I hope you had a great new year and I hope that the year's off to a great start so far. With the new year starting, I came up with a couple ideas. Gear Talk Tuesdays. I know it's not Tuesday anymore, but I figured better late than never. Uh, that might be a continuing thing, so don't sue me. First thing I'm gonna talk about is protecting your investment. There are a few things I recommend heavily when it comes to protecting your gear and your camera mainly. When I say protect your gear, I mean protect your gear for multiple reasons. You don't want scratched up gear or anything like that. You really want your stuff to stay nice and clean and fixed. Secondly, if you ever go to upgrade your gear and you wanna sell old gear, you want it to look good. If there's a scuff here, a crack there, you're gonna to have to take away a little bit of money. And why do that when you can spend five, $10 and protect it? First thing I'm gonna talk about is LCD covers. You know, you use them on your phone, the screen protectors. Um, they're the first thing I put on everything, every camera that I get or any device that I get. I have them on my uh, Ninja Inferno external monitor. I have them on both of my cameras. I even have them on my Rode Wireless Goes. Whenever there's a screen on any of your devices, get LCD protectors. Secondly, protect your lenses. There's a few things you could do. There's lens filters. I highly recommend putting them on your lenses. A lot of good lens filters are really expensive. Protect those, keep those in their cases, but for the most part, have a cheap little UV filter on, on your lens to protect it at all times. You can buy cheap UV filter lenses from newer or something like that for like $10 a lens filter. And then when you're ready to use it, put your filter on, your actual filter that you're gonna use, whether it be an, a really good ND filter or what have you, but always keep a filter on your lens at all times. Now, there's two things you can do to protect your actual camera. There are these little silicone covers. Um, they're really cool, really cheap, and they're a nice way to customize your gear. They help protect your camera from getting scuffs if you drop it or anything, which is really good, but they um, don't really help with like impact. So if you drop it from really high, it's not really gonna do much for you. The next step up to protect your camera would be a cage, especially if you're doing video. Photo, maybe not so much. I still keep my cage on it when I'm taking pictures. It's more likely to fall on the cage than it is to damage the camera. Secondly, they're filled with mounting options. You can mount mics, you can mount handles, you can mount monitors, there's just grips. They're a great tool if you have a lot of gear, especially if you're doing video. My monitor wasn't secured on my grip that I have on my cage and it fell. The scuff isn't too bad, if you don't know it's there, you probably wouldn't see it, but I know it's there. I saw it happen, so it absolutely bugs the crap out of me. Luckily, I was still sitting in my car, setting all my gear up. It hit my shifting knob. It scuffed up the monitor, and I was so upset. I was really bummed out because I had, hadn't put my LCD screen protector on it, which is actually the reason why I'm making this video, because of that exact accident. I thought I'd make this video so that that doesn't happen to you. I put an LCD cover on it and I got a cage for it. So now if it falls, the screen protector is what gets damaged and not my actual LCD screen. Lastly, we have your backpack. Whatever you carry your gear in, I highly suggest you invest heavily in uh, your whatever it is you travel with. If you travel a lot with a lot of gear, use Pelican cases. I recommend Pelican a lot. I've used them throughout my career and uh, they're fantastic, super durable and very customizable. But if you don't have that much gear, invest in a really good backpack. Me, I do a lot of research on things before I buy them. The best bang for your buck, in my opinion, is this Polar Pro Drone Tracker. It's got a lot of room. It's got a lot of padding. It's got these grips on the bottom. So if you put it down, it's not like slamming onto your gear. It's gonna, the padding on the bottom is gonna take the brunt of that. There's a lot of customizable padding in the inside. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth review of my camera bag, and how I pack things into it and the options that it gives me, let me know in the comments below. I haven't done a what's in my camera bag review, so it'd be really cool to do a video like that if you're interested. Well guys, there you have it. Those are my uh, Gear Talk Tuesday tip for the day. 
Um, these videos are meant to be really sure and get straight to the information for you guys. If there's anything more in depth you'd like me to cover, where whether it is the camera cages or the LCD screens or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I would love to make a more in-depth video about it. That's kind of the point of these videos so I can toss out a lot of lures out into the water and see what you guys want and then make more in-depth videos based off of that. So if you guys enjoyed that, let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you don't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.